Panagdait sa Diyos ug sa Tanang Kabuhatan and welcome back to Disaster Readiness and Risk Reduction. Before we continue on our discussion for Lesson 1, um, let me remind you that our topic or lesson is about basic concept of disaster and disaster risk. Let us have a moment to define disaster based on what we have learned from our previous discussion. You may proceed with our lesson today once you are done with the the definition of disaster okay i will assume that you already have your definition let us now proceed two categories of disasters natural and man-made disasters we'll be discussing each of them in our discussion today let us start with natural disaster natural disaster from the word natural or nature It refers to a natural phenomenon caused by natural forces, meaning natural disasters are those disasters that we cannot control. It is mainly caused by natural forces and there's nothing we can do about it. So examples of natural disasters are the following earthquakes, typhoon, volcanic eruptions, hurricane, fires, tornadoes, and extreme temperature. For how many years the Philippines has been experiencing Uh, many natural disasters, um, specifically volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and turn, um, hurricanes, or what we call mga storm. They can be classified as rapid onset disaster. Rapid onset disasters from the word rapid, pas pas or dali rasha, or it will stay in a short period of time, such as um, how many hours, um, dili kaabot og mga 24 hours, And those with progressive onset from the word progress, meaning this is a much longer period of time nga natural disaster, which will last for how many days, weeks, months, or in worst cases, it will last for how many years, such as droughts that lead to famine. So droughts in Tagalog, we have tag to youth, wherein um, it will affect the crop, uh, dry, provide results in dry lands, Um, lack of food resources, uh, specifically crop resources, which will affect um, the living organism living in that area. These events usually are sudden, can have tremendous effects because you already know um, what natural disasters are capable of. Next, we have the man-made disaster. From the terminologies itself, man-made, these are disasters caused by human behaviors. So disasters caused by you by men are those in which major direct causes are identifiable, intentional or non-intentional human actions, whether it is non-intentional or non-intentional, as long as it is caused by men, it can be classified as man-made disasters. So it has three categories: technological terrorism and complex humanitarian emergencies, which will be um, discussing one by one. Technological or industrial disasters. You already know what technology and industries are. These are um, is structures that men um, build. It does not. Uh, it is a general nga structure. It could be a building, vehicle, um, community, anything that is built by men, or anything that is an applied science. That is the exact definition of technology. Unregulated industrialization. and inadequate safety standards increase the risk for industrial disasters. So inadequate safety standards because the main cause of um, technological or industrial disasters is not following the safety standards. So gamayng uh, spark lang bitaw, so it will cause a disaster. For example, ani ka nang um, nabiaan nga kandila wherein Uh, that is an example of an inadequate safety standard because nanong biyaan man mo yung kandila knowing that your house is flammable or that certain area nga na kandila is flammable. So that is an example of inadequate safety standards which may lead to industrial disasters. Examples, leaks of hazardous materials, accidental explosions, bridge or road collapses or vehicle collision, power cuts. If you have noticed, all of these um, examples are technologies or industries. So anything that is built by men that will, um, in most cases, explode. 
terrorism or violence. I'm very sure this is very common to you all, especially in our area, no, here in Mindanao. So, dili gina malikayan yung makadungog gitag news about terrorism or violence in our area. Not this is not just happening in Mindanao, but in most part of the world. The threat of terrorism has also increased due to the spread of technologies involving nuclear, biological, and chemical agents used to develop weapons of mass destruction. So this definition refers to an, the international definition or general definition of terrorism. So when we say terrorism, it is a very um, big problem, you know, caused by man, um, which will lead to certain death, mass death, um, destructions, and so on. But um, examples, bombs or explosions, release of chemical materials, release of biological agents, release of radioactive agents, multiple or massive shooting, mutinies. So you already know also terrorism and violence. Let's proceed to the last one, complex humanitarian emergency. Complex emergency is described to be the humanitarian emergency resulting from an international or civil war. In such situations, large numbers of people are displaced from their homes due to the lack of personal safety and the disruption of basic infrastructure, including food distribution, water, electricity, and sanitation, or communities are left stranded and isolated in their own homes and able to access assistance. So complex humanitarian emergencies from the term itself, no complex, meaning uh, we don't we are not certain kung unsag yung exact mahitabo ani, but take note it refers to any negative thing that might negative situation that might happen to a mass number of people or in a community. The main reason for this is kanang terrorism and violence. Complex humanitarian emergencies is a ano, much higher level nga threat compared sa terrorism and violence. Although they're related, um, this one, can in complex humanitarian emergencies, is a much complicated uh, situation. So, kanabitang term nga mag-evacuate. So, kanang um but this time uh, evacuate siya nga longer period wherein you are not able to return to your home because siguro naguba your community was destroyed, your home was destroyed and then that place is no longer safe for inhabitants. That's why you need na ninyo mo move og temporary nga shelter. I'm saying temporary because um, in the picture presented, these are people or evacuees living on tents. Uh, tents is temporary because you cannot actually um, be safe in that um, in that structure. Dapat much lahi rabid yud kung balay imong puyan. So you we all deserve safety, mong good. So so maona siya. That's why it is called complex because humans or a number of humans will suffer in this um, situation. Examples, the conflicts or wars and genocide, the deliberate killing of a large group of people, especially those of a particular ethnic group or nation. So let us now uh, define risk and disaster risk. Just like disaster, risk has various connotations within different disciple, disciplines. So lain lain siya definition in different fields. In, but in general, risk is defined as the combination of the probability of an event and its negative consequences. It refers to any event and the negative consequences of those events or the negative phenomenons that will give negative effects to um, living organisms. The term risk is thus multidisciplinary meaning it has different definitions and is used in a variety of contexts. It is usually associated with a degree of which to which humans cannot cope, lack of capacity with a situation such as natural hazard. So risk, as stated here, it can also, re it refers to any negative situation that will um, give negative results or negative nga aids sa uh, humans 
that will make them uncomfortable, that will make them feel that they are not safe. The term disaster risk refers to the potential, not actual and realized disaster losses in lives, health status, livelihood, assets, and services which could occur in a community or society over some specified future time period. Disaster risk is the product of the possible damage caused by a hazard due to the vulnerability within a community. It should be noted that the effect of a hazard of a particular magnitude would affect, affect communities differently. So disaster risk is actually the potential or a calculated risk or losses that might happen to a certain um, to a certain group of people when a situation arises. Diba? When you see the news na amantay disaster risk nga gina provide or makita, um, they will give estimation estimated number of people who might um, die in this certain phenomenon. Kung, mag, kung nagalantaw mo news, um, naana sila yung mga probability and statistics that will somehow um, predict the number of losses, not just the losses of lives, but uh, lives, but also losses and revenues, um, resources, and other um, other important things. Um, it can also be determined by the presence of three variables: hazard, it may be natural or anthropogenic, vulnerability to a hazard, and coping capacity linked to the reduction, mitigation, and resilience to the vulnerability of a community. So that would be the end of lesson one. Um, lesson one pa lang to siya, although this is our second day of our class. Continuation naman to siya. Next meeting will start with our lesson two, but be sure to answer the activity attached with this um, recorded discussion. Thank you for coming and you may now proceed to our lesson, I mean activity.